Gentlemen, welcome back. This morning we're going to be looking at finishing the rest of our follow focus assembly. Now, last time we had done these bevel gears that would allow us to put our knob 90 degrees rotated from the gear. To connect the bevel gear to the ring of the lens, I thought at first to poke two little holes and uh, screw on there another spear gear. But then I realized I could just print it all as one big piece, same going for the knob for the other bevel. Now, since this was a rather big piece, I first printed a little model of it at uh, one half scale. Now, you can see that uh, despite uh, its small size, it's fully functional. We got ourselves the uh, spear gear that will uh, go on a lens ring, and we got ourselves a little uh, ring to which we can mount uh, the uh, handle and knob. Here it is now in full scale. We got ourselves our two little caps our big bevel gears, and our little holder. Now, for the holder, I had some issues at first, because since you last saw, it wouldn't go all the way due to the flattening of the cylinders and some general uh, warping issues. So, had to break out our beautiful little sanders. This was uh, the only thing lying around. It was actually the handiest, despite its unfortunate color. And after a bit of sanding, we got ourselves smoothened little out shafts. Now, I did have to scrape out the back of the entry hole for the second gear in order for the cylinder to rotate smoothly all the way. Now, after putting the press-fitted caps to secure both gears, we got ourselves a nice working bevel gear plus spur plus knob mechanism. With a few holes in the back to put in our handle, it's kind of satisfying to watch it just rotating. To test out if the uh, spur gear at the back of the second bevel worked, I printed a little attachment that would go on top of the camera with a little printed M5 screw to attach it, and also a printed nut, I'd be able to see if both of the gears meshed well in the end. Now, obviously, it's just to test out everything before I do the uh, beefy supports and see if I have to do any more adjustments. Now, putting it on the camera, let's see if both of these gears mesh well. We just gotta screw it on top with our quarter inch nut, make some adjustments to fit it, and let's see if it turns. Yeah, both of those gears are meshing well. It's surprisingly smooth despite having half the standard cinema pitch and being, of course, 3D printed. Now, I'm not turning the knob as I just wanted to check if the two gears worked. And for that, I'd need to build a beefy support that would make it so the thing is not so fiddly. So in the next video, you'll be able to see the full fall focus with a proper support. So, see you then.